Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing an update and a video game collections video. If you've been following this channel, you'll know that I haven't posted a video in almost over a year and a half. That's because my uh, computer has been broken all that time and I finally got a new computer. Over here. And that year and a half, uh, if you see me commenting, it was because I was using the Wii U. It has some limited internet access. And that's pretty much the only update I wanted to say besides uh, getting on to the uh, collection video. Alright. Alright, I'm uh, gonna do a panorama. I know the people in comments say uh, these collection videos don't show you the whole room and layout. Well, in this room you come in on this door on the back, back side. Go into the left wall, you can see posters from Nintendo Power from the Game Gear. Then you have the shelf, where one of the shelves on this wall. More posters on the bottom, bed right there. Right, on the front wall, you got this uh, more shelving. You got a CRT on the left. You got a LCD enhanced definition TV on the shelf. You got a, a top shelf here. You got uh, the systems. All right, now moving over to the right wall, you got more shelves. And going down, there's the HD TV. On a computer desk. Over on the left is a HD CRT TV on a, another desk. Let's see. Alright, uh, you got the DVDs on this shelf. And going back to the closets on the back wall. Right. Now, the layouts of the shelves I have on the top shelves, so all the systems, they wrap around over to here, the front wall, and uh, I put the Neo Geo on the over here. Now going down, the, I have them uh, have the games arranged by the most uh, games I have for a company. So uh, Nintendo's on the top, Sega's in the middle, and Xbox, PlayStation. Share the bottom one, and of course uh, the games wrap around, so the Nintendo stuff on top wraps around to over here. We got the GameCube Wii, and we got the Dreamcast stuff in the middle, and more than Nintendo stuff here. Uh, the reason why they're not wrapped around on the top is because they don't want to take as much space with the Wii U and the Switch games. Now people complain that CRT TVs take up too much room. Well, I have not one. Not two, not three, about four TVs in this room, in the small prison cell size room. So there's no reason nobody could ha should have a, shouldn't have a CRT TV. You don't have to get a big giant ass TV that takes up this whole area. You can get a nice 20 inch. Now the four TVs I have is a CRT TV that goes up to S video. Over here we have an enhanced definition TV that's LCD that goes up to component. Over here we have a HD CRT TV that goes up to HDMI 1080i. And over here we have the LCD TV that goes up to, I believe, 1080p. Oh yeah, on the arrangement of the uh, games here. Not only are they arranged by the top company, they're arranged by a system. So over here, in chronological order of the release uh, of the console. So the Nintendo stuff is here. And the Super Nintendo. Then we got the N64 stuff right here. That, that as you can see, that's the most games for any system I own. So that's why it's in this one big area. Instead of uh, see how the do you share this over here. And then over here we got the GameCube stuff going on to the Wii stuff. And then we got the Wii U and the Switch stuff. Uh, going back down to the Sega stuff, it starts with the Master System, then we got the Genesis stuff, then we got the Sega CD, 32X, Saturn, and finally ending with uh, Dreamcast, uh, Sega's last console they made. Ended in 2001. 
and going down we have a uh, Xbox that goes into 360 and I don't have any Xbox one games because I share the games that my brother has uh, digitally uh, then we go into the play PlayStation 1 move over to PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 and over here we have the uh, the other systems that either they only made one system or not that many over here on the top we have uh, Gamecom then we got the 3DO stuff that we got in television then over here we have the Neo Geo games into Neo Geo CD then we have Atari 2600 then we go to the Jaguar and finally Turbo Graphics and this little small shelf over here has the uh, Virtual Boy and the handhelds Virtual Boy DS uh, N Gauge uh, one uh, Game Gear game. Oh yeah. Good. Yeah. Now no, these videos they always do estimates of how many games they have. Uh, the only other YouTuber I know who does this is uh, Jason Vedtrex who keeps count of how many games you got in their collection. Well, the grand total I have is uh, 449 games. That, that includes the handhelds. If you want, I differentiate. You got the consoles. I only have uh, 399. So if you're watching this video and see if I fucked up the count well, as we go through this, let's see. The NES we have 32, Super Nintendo we got 14, N64 44, GameCube 13, Wii 32, Wii U 15, Switch 8, Virtual Boy 3, Master System 5, Sega 19, Sega CD 16, 32X8, Saturn 18, Dreamcast 16, PS1 20, PS2 19, PS3 15, Xbox 15, 360 26, Xbox One nothing. Uh, I play my brother's games digitally, so that's why I don't have any yet. But I plan on getting uh, Dead Rising 3, that looks good. For the 2600, we got the 12 games Jaguar 8, 3DO 14, AES 6, Neo Geo CD 10, Turbo Graphics 13, Turbo CD 1, and Television 7. Oh yeah, here's something unique uh, here. Uh, you see all these collection videos, and the uh, one question that is asked is, uh, "Do you ever play these games?" Well, not uh, not only have I ever played all all these games, I have also beaten them all. Let's see. First time I've beaten every game in my collection, and the last game was Tempest 2000. Last game to be beaten in collection was on August 27th, 2017. Now, of course, when you buy new games, then the you haven't beaten every game in the collection so right now here's the one game I still gotta beat because I recently bought it it's uh for the Jaguar it's uh cannon fodder what a pain in the ass troll game that is I'm only halfway through it so other than that game every physical game you see here I have beaten and some of them you can see me beat on my channel uh, through the walkthroughs uh, let's see uh, continuing on we got uh, Game Boy 6 games, Game Boy Color 7, Game Boy Advance 2, DS7, Game Gear 8, Neo Geo Pocket 6, Gamecom 8, Neo Geo 2. Oh, I, oh, what am I fucking saying? Neo Geo, I mean, N-Gage. Jesus, not paying attention here. Alright, so, uh, I'm gonna go through, uh, these games, uh... I tried doing this before, it was like uh, three hours, uh, I was doing mini reviews, that wasn't good, uh, so it was a bunch of, ah, oh, it's good, it's bad, it's good, mostly good, very few are bad, because I usually pick out the games that I want to play, so yeah, pretty much most of these games are good, I'll tell you what, uh, which ones are bad, but, uh, so instead of doing mini reviews, I, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to say where I got it from, uh, that's uh, one thing in the comments, uh, on uh, other collection videos I've been watching, I've been watching a lot of them uh, when I didn't have uh, the computer working. Uh, one of the comments is, uh, do, do you even remember where you got them? Or basically, you see collectors buy games they don't even know where they got them from. They buy so many games, they it's like, do do you even care? Do you even play them? Well, I'm gonna go through them and uh, tell you where I got them. Ooh, sorry, here we go. All right, but first let's get the fucking fucking tripod here alright uh, on the top uh, shelf we have uh, the Genesis 
Uh, I got that for Christmas, I believe, 1991, because it came with Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, the, Se the Sega CD, I got that uh, probably in 2004 off eBay. Uh, the 32X, uh, interesting. Uh, I got that for free sometime in the late 90s, early 2000s at Funko Land. I, I walked into Funko Land, the guy at the counter had this stuff ready and slid, slid toward me as I walked up to the counter. He said, Merry Christmas. He gave me this in a uh, in box free with uh, three other games, also complete in box, uh, Doom, Star Wars, and what was it, Metalhead. Yeah, so that uh, shows you uh, what the gaming situation was like. like. They couldn't even give this shit away except for hardcore gamers like myself. That's why the prices were so low back in the late uh, 90s and early 2000s. Nobody was buying this stuff. Alright, uh, moving over. We got uh, the Turbo Duo. I got that either off eBay on, in 2008, 2009. Uh, eBay doesn't keep track of its dates, so I can't look it up. Over down here we have the uh, Master System. I got that in 2006, I believe, off Amazon. I gotta double check that. It's e Amazon or eBay, one of those. The N64, I tried to buy this at launch back in uh, September 29th, 1996, uh, but they were sold out. So, uh, either got this sometime in October, November, uh, bought it at a Toys R Us. Uh, the PlayStation 1, this is uh, my sister's ex-boyfriend's uh, PlayStation, he gave it to me. He knows I like video games, so he gave it to me. Uh, this is the Nintendo. Uh, this isn't the original system I owned. Uh, I had mom threw that away when, when we got the Model 2. This I rebought probably around 2004 off eBay. Up here is the GameCube. Uh, ooh, I forget where I bought that. Well, this isn't my original one. My original one broke, so I bought this one, I believe, off eBay. No, wait, no. What, what the fuck am I saying? I think I got this at uh, EB or GameStop this particular one so yeah I originally had a GameCube uh, near around where when it came out back in 2001 next we have the Sega Saturn I got off that got, got that off Amazon I believe 2008 down here we got the 3DO I also believe I got that off Amazon 2008 either 2008 2009 because uh, around those years I got a lot of these uh, systems here at the same time Next we have uh, the Super Nintendo. I got that for my birthday, I believe. Uh, that would be no November 94. It came with the Donkey Kong Country. It either came with Donkey Kong Country or it came with Super Mario World. Uh, wherever the bundle was. Uh, over to the right we got uh, Dreamcast. This isn't my original one. I brought, bought that near launch, but not 9 because I remember I bought Final Fantasy VIII that day because it was cheaper. I got this uh, a month or two later, but I definitely got it before uh, the year 2000, I remember that. Y2K, waiting for the missiles to blow everybody up because of Y2K. Down here, another, uh, I got PS2. Uh, I originally got one of them near launch, but this ain't that one. That one broke. That one I sold to, uh, was it EB or GameStop? Uh, this one I bought around 2016 because uh, my Model 2 started to... Uh, break. Uh, it seems to overheat and uh, I gotta fix that somehow. Uh, here we have uh, the Atari 2600. I got this in the late 90s from my Aunt Doris who uh, recently died this year. Yeah, I still have it. Uh, let's check out the other systems. We got PS3. That's my original PS3. I got that around 2008. Because so, I remember because I bought uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 and I because I wanted a limited edition, so I got the game before the system, so, and I couldn't wait to play the game, so I finally saved up money and got this. Next, over here, we have the Neo Geo CD. I got that uh, 2017, uh, just last year. Uh, got that off eBay. Alright, moving on over. We got the uh, Xbox 360. Uh, I think the, I got that, like, 2007, 2008, uh, from... Best Buy, I believe. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, if you remember, the earlier ones used to overheat and uh, not work. I had this one sent out to Xbox, uh, no, Microsoft, that's the company saying, what the fuck am I fucking talking about? Yeah, I had that sent out. They had the boxes and shit ready made, uh, so the people at the post office already knew where it went, it was gonna go, because so many people sent them in for repairs, so this is a repaired one. 
I got that for free, the repairs. Obviously, once they fuck up, they should fucking repair it themselves for free. Uh, we got the Genesis Model 2. I got that with the uh, Sega CD back in 2004. It was a bundle, uh, basically, somebody selling their whole collection. Got that for like around $100 with a couple of games, so a lot of controllers and other accessories. This right here is the HD DVD drive that goes for the Xbox 360. Uh, let's see what else is in this pile. We got the uh, PC Engine Core 2. Uh, got that off eBay. Oh yeah, that that I got all the HD DVD drive. I got that, I believe, at Best Buy. Yeah, I know it's at Best Buy because I got a receipt here. Uh, there's a Model 2. We bought I bought that like in the early to mid 90s. That then we threw out the original model that I got on Christmas, either 1989 or 1990, around there. Uh, once we got the more reliable Model 2, then we got the Intellivision. I got that off eBay uh, 2016. Uh, we got some of my music CDs over there, and uh, over in the corner is the PC games, but they don't fucking work. That's why they're in the corner like that. Uh, the only one that semi-works now is Trespasser, but that was a game ahead of its time. Uh, over here we have the... Okay, all right, I think that's... Oh, wait, no, that's... Uh, I'm not done with the systems yet. We got the Jaguar right here. Got that 2008-2009 uh, either from eBay or Amazon. Of course, we got the Neo Geo AS down here. Uh, I've been playing that frank frequently. That's why it's down here. I got that just this year in July, July 5th, I believe, the day after Fourth of July, Independence Day. Uh, let's see what other systems are hooked up before I forget them. We got the original Xbox right here. I bought that around 2016. I originally bought that uh, in 2001, when near when it came out, or 2002. I believe 2001, but that one burnt out. I remember hearing reports that these uh, burnt out. One day, uh, when I turned it on, there were sparks came out near back where the wire is, and uh, that was the end of that one. This one obviously is a new one, got in around 2016. Over here we have the Xbox One. This was a birthday gift uh, slash Christmas gift for my brother uh, last year in 2017. Uh, down here is the. Nintendo Switch, the only system I bought on launch day. Uh, the only other system I tried to get on launch day was the N64, but of course they were sold out. And I found out that after the fact that the stores were selling them earlier than that, the September 29th. Uh, over here we got the Wii U. Obviously I showed that before. That's how played on the internet. Look on the internet. Uh, down here we got the original Wii. This one I got, this one was a hard one to find, I didn't get this one near launch, I got like around 2007, I believe. I found that at Walmart. Uh, oh, they were just uh, getting them in, uh, they were going to put them on the shelves, it was right, right in the box, and I asked the lady there, are those uh, Wii's for sale? And they said yes, so I bought it there. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, uh, I got the Wii U for uh, Christmas, uh, I got the uh, Switch at... Uh, at uh, GameStop, uh, midnight launch. Let's see, we got the GameCom over here. I got that off eBay. All right, now, oh yeah, over here we got the uh, Virtual Boy. Got that off eBay around 2016. All right, I got some other stuff over here. We got the uh, Power Glove and Rob the Robot. I got that out of a cleaning job. Uh, it was uh, a mo moving slash cleaning job. They didn't want this stuff. I asked them and I got it. And some other stuff over here. Got the handhelds over here. Got the uh, uh, Game Boy. I'll, I'll get to them later. Alright, now moving on to the games over here. Yeah, I got myself a tripod here. Starting off, we got uh, Boy and His Blob. Uh, I rented this one uh, back in the early 90s. I finally got it uh, May 11th, 2017 for 14 bucks, game manual and sleeve. Now, here's something I do. I usually like to write down my own uh, walkthroughs and maps and stuff. Uh, because uh, GameFAQs uh, is a pain in the ass. You gotta sift through uh, 
a whole uh, wall of text where you get the information you want. And I don't feel like reading through the, a whole war and peace just to find a little bit of information that I need. As you can see, I made maps of this game of where everything is. I need to color it in. I didn't have uh, stencils, colored stencils at the time. Next up is Batman. I got that fairly recently. Another good one. I rented this one way back in the 90s. Finally got it for myself. Uh, where the fuck is the thing? There we go. Batman. Yeah, you just got this here. Ooh, September 11th. Uh, 2018. Yeah, they say Nest games are so uh, so fucking expensive. L look at the price, only eleven seventy five total for Batman with the manual and s and sleeve. Uh, you can still get some affordable Nest games. Just can't be buying fucking uh, stadium events. Uh, Nintendo World Champion uh, was a little Samson. Just don't go for those games, and you can still buy some pretty good games for a cheap price. Ah, uh, here's another one of my favorites. This is one of my favorite games of all time, Blaster Master. I got this, I believe, for my fifth birthday, uh, back in the, I think, 91, 92, uh, from my grandma. One of my, f uh, favorite games. Next, we got, uh, zoom on in here. We got Rescue Rangers, uh, I don't know, I forget where we got that one from. Either a Christmas or a birthday. Rescue Rangers 2, I know where I got. I got that's another one from Grandma. I got that one back in for my birthday, 1994 and 1995. This is an expensive one. I had no idea this one was so expensive, but it seems because it was one of the last ones, it didn't sell too well. Next up is uh, Contra. This uh, got this one this year. Uh, I hear more people talk about this one than Super C, but. Super C is the one I had since the 90s. I got that mom got it at like a yard sale or something. I remember she gave it to us very early in the morning. I was like, when, when did you have time to get that? You didn't get that this morning. Uh, next up is Double Dragon. Another one I believe I got this. No, no, I think I got last year. Another cheap one. Yeah, as you notice, I keep the receipts. I keep track of how high or low these uh, prices go. Yeah, I got last year. Got it off eBay. Uh, $13.27 with the manual. Uh, so there's no, yeah. Yeah, they say Ness is so fucking expensive. Bullshit. Unless we already bought these games a uh, long time ago and all you're buying now is the more expensive ones. Oh, put it in the fucking wrong way. Yeah, I like to have it with the tab out so you can grab it with the uh, sleeve. Alright, over here we got Dr. Mario. I, I don't know where we got that. That mom likes the puzzle game, so she got, probably got that. Then we have uh, Final Fantasy over here. I got that back in the late 90s, uh, early 2000s, because I remember uh, I bought it around the time Final Fantasy X was coming out, so I wanted to play this one. I got it at Funko Land. Next, we have Friday the 13th. Uh, my grandma had this game. My uncle had this game. Everyone says it sucked, but a lot of people had it. Have it. I finally bought it for myself. Uh, I either got it off eBay or Amazon. Let's see. Uh, got it. Uh, 2016 Sosa Games. Uh, I, I didn't put it down if it was Amazon. It's probably Amazon. Yeah, as you can see, here's another one of the maps I made up for myself. Showing you where all the uh, knife, medicine, and all that shit is. Back up a little bit, zoom out. Oh. Too bad I don't have a wide angle lens. As you can see, it's easier to, when you have a fucking tripod, you can pull this shit out easier. Not like most fucking uh, videos, YouTubers should, the first thing you should buy is a fucking tripod. But most people don't do that. 
also from uh, that uh, same yard sale that we got uh, Super C, we got uh, Ghostbusters that was in the package. Next up is the Little Mermaid. I rented that uh, way back in the 90s from Easy Video. I finally got it. I believe I got this off Amazon. Little Dream Ma oh, excuse me, Little Nemo Dream Master. Got that from Kmart back in the early, early to mid 90s. Uh, that was an impulse buy. It looked good by the cover. Um, Mega Man 2. I got that. Uh, off eBay, uh, was there 2008, 2009, around that time. Metal Gear, I got that from Funko Land around the time uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 was coming out. And also Snake's Revenge, also around the same time for Funko Land. Uh, next up is uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. I got that uh, not too long ago, I think 2017 off Amazon. Pinball, the only, uh, if, if you notice these things, uh, there's a uh, three screw and a uh, four screw. Uh, and, excuse me, three screw and five screw uh, NES games. This one's a five screw, you can tell because it doesn't have the tabs. It seems like they cheap out. Yeah. Pinball's one of them. That's the only one I have it that's a five screw. The rest of them are all three screw uh, cases. Next up, uh, the first game I ever played, uh, Super Mario Brothers. Uh, uh, came with the packing back in uh, Christmas 1989 90. Then we have uh, Super Mario Brothers 2. Got that, and that's not the Christmas one, but a different Christmas. Uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. This is actually my sister's. Uh, she got for her birthday, but she doesn't have a nest at the moment, so I gotta give this back to her, and I gotta buy my own one of these days. Uh, next up is uh, oh, here's a unique one. Uh, Sweet Home. Uh, here we go. Funko Land. I bought this. This isn't one of them. I didn't save that. Uh, I bought this off uh, eBay. Alright, now uh, Sweet Home is a uh, reproduction because Sweet Home that was never made in America. This is the uh, English translation. You can all, The only official way to get it is uh, the Japanese Famicom. But I played this on emulation and it was so good I had to get get it to uh, a real deal one. Now I do have the, the real deal manual. Uh, now I can't read uh, Japanese. Well, not much. I can read a few things, but uh, I can't speak with anyone. But actually it's pretty helpful. Uh, Oops, here we go. Got all the receipts falling out. Where the hell is it? It has a map in here of the first floor. If I can fuck it, there we go. Fucking find it. Yeah, help me uh, get around. So, it wasn't pointless uh, buying a thing that in Japanese you can't read. You still got the maps and other stuff. Now I gotta go get that fucking thing that fell. Alright, moving along. We have, uh... For Sweet Home, we have uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, I believe I got that for a Christmas or a birthday back in the early 90s. Then we got the uh, Terminator, uh, that uh, another grandma game. Not as good as, as Blaster Master or Chippendales 2, but uh, it has its moments. I like it, even though most people don't like it. I might have to do a playthrough of that. Tetris, have no idea where we got it. Mom probably bought it. Tetris 2, I know Mom bought it, which was into those puzzle games. Uh, either probably Kmart or something like that. Wario Woods, I believe, uh, another game my mom bought. I believe we got that from Kmart back in 94. Uh, this is the last game uh, officially made for the Nintendo. Uh, for the longest time, I thought it was Mega Man 6 was the last game, because uh, I was like, Jesus, they're still making games for the Nintendo all the way in 94. The N64 is about to come, come out. Wheel of Fortune, obviously, another game my mom bought. I don't know where we got it. Yoshi's Cookie, another a lot of puzzle games my mom bought. Eyes. Don't know where we got. Uh, Zelda, I know where we got. We got that from Kmart uh, back in the early 90s. Uh, if you've seen the box, there's a little cut in it. It shows you it, that's gold. Uh, just looking at it, you knew, knew this game was going to be special. Uh, Zelda 2, we got for a Christmas. Uh, of course, this one is a uh, later model uh, without the gold. Uh, I remember uh, just watching a video out of uh, James and Mike Mondays, they're playing Duck Hunt, they, he says he never seen one without the gold. Uh, well, I'm used to the one without the gold, because that's the one I got. Uh, looking down, we got, the, I always keep uh, one controller on hand, at least one controller. We got the NES controller, we got the uh, NES Advantage, there's something unique. Put the Ghostbusters 2 logo on there, because that's obviously used in the movie. Uh, we got a Game Genie back here. Uh... Right. 
Now we're going to be moving on down to the uh, Super Nintendo games. Ah. I start shining some light on this subject. All right, now I don't usually collect the cardboard because uh, they're so flimsy and uh, break easily. And a lot of these games, when I bought new, as uh, most people did, they threw them right the fuck out because they, they were just packaging. Because uh, they're so flimsy. Although, uh, I really wish I regret that now. Even though they're flimsy, uh, I, I bought, since this one was so cheap, I bought this one uh, not too long ago. Uh, because it was so cheap. Uh, I like to have at least one as a point of reference uh, for people who want to know, who come over and want to know what a Super Nintendo box looks like. Yeah, I know. Uh, here's something interesting you should know. There is two official manuals for Jurassic Park. One, uh, the cheaper black and white one that they made later, and the uh, harder to find uh, color one. Uh, I, you can easily find this one on eBay all day, every day. This one's a bit harder, for obvious re reasons. Uh, it's in color, it's better. So yeah, it, this one ain't a bootleg, it's just a later release. They cheap out on the color. Yeah, now the game itself, I got, uh, what is that? I think I got that at EB when they were phasing out the games. So, back in uh, 2008, 2009, around there. So, yeah. Uh, so, you, even back then, people didn't care about these games. They couldn't get rid of this shit. That's why they stopped sell, selling them at the uh, local stores. It wasn't until recently that uh, GameStop started doing it again because they could see that there, there's a market for it. People now want these. That's why the prices are high because everybody wants it. We got the uh, Super Nintendo Game Genie right here. I uh, got that for Christmas uh, back in the 90s. Same with the Super Game Boy. Got that back in the 90s for Christmas. Uh, Donkey Kong Country over here. Uh, that was either packing, as I said before, or it was separate. I forget which one went for my birthday back in 94. Uh, let's see what's next. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. I want. I believe I got that on the day of the release. I uh, I saved up some money. I was at school. I remember I said for mom to go get it, and she got it that day. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 3. I believe I also bought that. Uh, actually, I forget if I bought the day of release or what. Oh, uh, here's an expensive game right here. You guys have no idea how much money I had to spend on this game. This was the most expensive game in the store at the time. You know how much I had to fucking pay for this fucking game? I had to pay 20 to 30 dollars. No, I'm not kidding. This And no, this ain't a re reproduction cart. This is the real deal e Earthbound. You wanna know how I got that cheap? I bought this back in uh, 99 or 2000 at Funko Land. Uh, uh, people like to whine and complain that this one is so fucking common. If you remember back in the day, seeing the advertisements, uh, Nintendo fucked themselves over with the fucking uh, advertisements with the scratch and sniff, and, and they said it, this game stinks. Uh, kids being kids took that quite literally, and it didn't sell too well. Uh, let's see, I wouldn't be surprised if I want the unsold stuff uh, got thrown out so there's even less in existence. But uh, I rented this one back in the mid 90s. Uh, I'd rent any, any fucking thing because it was. Uh, first easy video was three games for three dollars for three days. Then at Blockbuster was uh, during the mid 90s. It was five dollars for three games for three days. Uh, this was. Uh, so even if it was a bad game, uh, the first game would be the game I want to play. Uh, second game looks good, and the third one would be the oddball, possibly a bad game. That's how I rented those games. This was uh, the oddball ones that could have been bad, but once you play, you know it, it was a masterpiece. Uh, luckily, I got it for only 20 to $30. It said the uh, $200 plus dollars it goes for now, but that's because it's a masterpiece. It's one of the best games, and it's worth the money if you don't have it already. Alright. Great Circus mix Mystery featuring uh, Mickey Mouse. Uh, I actually bought this one uh, back in the early 90s, but then I sold it, uh, and I bought it again. Uh, yeah. Alright, moving on to uh, Jurassic Park, uh, the second game. 
bought this one, uh, I believe, off, yeah, definitely bought it off eBay uh, not too long ago, about a year or two ago. Got Mario Paint, Mario Paint, not Mario, Mario. Jesus Christ. Uh, ch -ch 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 got that for Christmas. Uh, uh, here's another one. It's not quite a reproduction, because uh, right here I got the Sailor Moon was only uh, released for the Famicom, which is right here. But if you know about the region locking for the Super Nintendo, it's uh, the only thing uh, keeping you from playing in between regions is these. It's physically, there. there's tabs inside the Super Nintendo, as you can see right there. This one doesn't have the slots to go in. So you can either break off the tabs, which uh, the Angry Video Game Nerd did in one of his videos to get these to play. Uh, but I'm not going to break my, anything in my systems. Uh, I like to keep them intact the way they were. So instead of uh, breaking that off, I instead bought this uh, generic th generic case off Amazon and took the board out of the official uh, casing and put it in here. Uh, this I printed up myself to make it look uh, authentic. I'm not trying to. I'm not going to sell this or pass it off as a real one. And plus, anyone who knows Super Nintendo games knows this. Uh, is uh, the casing's not real because uh, it was never released. Anyone with any little knowledge would know that. And plus, it doesn't have all the uh, official shit on it. So yeah. Next we have Super Mario. Uh, Mario. Mario. I'm still saying Mario. That's Mario. I think it the right way, but don't say it the right way. Uh, we got Super Mario. One of my favorite games of all time, Super Mario. Did I say Mario? Mario RPG. Uh, rented this back in uh, 96. My brother bought it uh, back then. Uh, I think it was uh, one of the more expensive games. It was uh, $69.99 plus tax. So, uh, yeah. Of course, uh, memory. Uh, the games that take a lot of memory cost a lot more money. So yeah, these games were originally seventy dollars. The more memory games. So yeah, and people are pissy. We are paying twenty to forty dollars for a game nowadays, a ret retro game. Still paying half the price of what it was originally, saying it's too fucking expensive. Now they're just too fucking cheap. Uh, Super Empire Strikes Back. Uh, I believe I rented this one first and eventually got it for. I think it was my birthday or Christmas back in the 90s. Uh, next, this ain't the original Super Mario World. That one uh, got lost in a move, so I had to rebuy this again for about 20 bucks a couple years ago. Uh, True Lies for the. Yeah. I got. The, ooh, LJN. Got this. Uh, I rented this back in the 90s. Uh, I forget which uh, system, a Sega or a Super, but this one was in the. When they're phasing out the retro games at EB, I bought that one there. Uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors was another Super Nintendo game I got for my birthday that same day. Uh, Donkey Kong, Super Mario World, and this. Uh, I never played this game uh, before my birthday, but I remember my friend was talking about it. it says it was such a good game. That's probably where uh, uh, why I got got bought for me because it was a good game, and it is a good one of the good games. Very hard, but it's good. All right, now looking at the accessories, we got the we got the mouse. Uh, we got the original controller, and we got some power. Uh, of course, uh, for some space, I put down the four score. Got that back in the early 90s. Uh, no, no, not early, mid 90s, because they were phasing that shit out uh, at the mall. Uh, so it was cheap. Uh, so since it was cheap, mom bought it. Uh, we had a game that worked for it. Uh, the bought a game that was for it. That is the football game. Uh, but I only have one game now that works for it, and that's uh, a Nightmare on Elm Street. Alright, now moving on to the N64 stuff. Moving on up, moving on up to the east side of town. Alright, gotta do this at an angle. We got Blast Corps. Not Corpse Corps. I like the Marine Corps. Rented this one back in the day. I remember renting it. Uh, it's got a weird way to uh, erase the save files. You get a hold start at the beginning. I remember we had to drive back to the rental store and ask them about it because they didn't have the manual with the box and they told, uh, told us how to do it. I guess uh, a lot of people uh, brought it back. That's how they knew how to explain it. Oh yeah, I got this one off. I think e e eBay or Amazon not too long ago. All right, let's move on over so you can see the uh, labels. Body Harvest. I, oh, 
bought this one uh, originally back in the late 90s, but I sold it. The reason why I sold it, uh, somehow I was at the final uh, level, final boss, then my game got fucking erased. I got so fucking pissed off, I fucking sold it. So, uh, it's a really good game, but it pissed me off. Back in the days, uh, I was just getting good at gaming, but not, uh, well, you see the games that I fucking beat now, like, uh, uh, Cliffhanger and other hard games, uh, I can one quick, quick clear, uh, King of the Monsters. I'll just look through the channel and you see some of the hard stuff I beat. But, uh, doing this all over again, uh, I, it would take too fucking long. So I sold it, uh, and, uh, sell it now, get some money, and, uh, buy it again when prices are low. Because that was the trend back then, uh, the, uh, if, uh, the prices get lower as time goes on, so... Get money now, big money now, buy it again for cents. But uh, as you know, uh, uh, the prices went the opposite direction after like uh, 2009, 2008, 2009. They skyrocketed up because everybody wants them now. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't get this one too uh, expensive, so that's good. Uh, like only $10, $20, like I looked that up uh, somewhere around there. Bomberman 64, got that for Christmas uh, one year back in the late 90s. Uh, Castlevania bought this uh, fairly recently, about two, maybe two years ago, off uh, eBay. Good one. Uh, Conquer's Bad Third Fur Day. Uh, my friend had this game uh, back in the late nine. No, wait, no, it can't be late nineties. This came out in two thousand one, early two thousands. Uh, uh, since he had the game, I didn't buy it because you know you didn't have much money at, well, when you're a kid. Uh, so if they had the game, you'll just play theirs. So uh, yeah. So I bought this, uh, I think, uh, a year or two ago. Uh, bought it for eighty dollars. That's the going rate. Uh, but as you all know, the prices can always get higher, they always get worse. So I got it now. Uh, well, it's not. My guideline is to get try and get games uh, under a hundred dollars. Uh, but but I eventually have to break that uh, guideline. But uh, not right now. So yeah, I had a big back and forth with the lady, I think it was, uh, with this game, uh, 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 I wanted her, uh, well, actually, I didn't want, I wanted to see if the boards, uh, uh if this was authentic, because, uh, of course, expensive ones, there's a lot of reproductions and, uh, knockoffs here, so I asked her if she could, uh, open up, uh, open it up and show me pics of the boards and see if they're the authentic thing, uh, she said, uh, she didn't have the tools to do it, then, uh, she emailed me, she's going to buy them. So I had to wait a long time. Then the, those ones didn't work. Then she bought another one. And I opened them up and it was authentic. So it was a big uh, back and forth. Uh, probably could have got this uh, for cheaper. But uh, if you're going to go through all the trouble buying the tools, I'll buy it off you. There's not too many people with integrity uh, out here with the uh, gaming. Uh, b well, buying uh, buying the games. They always want to try for pennies on the dollar. Even though pe people originally bought this for like... 50 60 dollars and they want it for only a dollar you fucking cheap motherfuckers no if you're gonna go through the trouble of buying the tools to open this up and then confirm that it's uh even though i didn't ask uh, to open it i'll buy it for you at the going rate and it helps that this was on here to know that it was originally before the price skyrocketed and there was a uh, reproduction that's another thing authentic authentic authenticity of the game Alright, uh, Cruising USA, my brother bought, the, I think we rented it first, and then my brother got for his birthday, or, yeah, I think it was his birthday. Uh, Foner has a two-player game, uh, that's uh, how I mostly play this game, good one, good racer. Arcade style. I recently bought this off, either Amazon or eBay, recently. Uh, Donkey Kong Racing, bought this one, uh, back in the late 90s, uh, but this ain't this one, I, uh, the original one. This one I sold, sold back in the late 90s because I couldn't beat it. Because uh, around the N64 area, I was starting to get uh, good at gaming. I could beat the N64 games. The N64 uh, difficulty uh, across the library was pretty medium. This one uh, was fucked up. Uh, it didn't have a clear goal it, with the hub world. Uh, it was pointless all over the place getting the fucking coins. When's the end of the game? It seems to end like two times. So I sold it because uh, uh, I couldn't beat it. Uh, and again, the thinking uh, at the time was uh, I'll get money now, buy it later when it's cheaper. That was a trend. Luckily, I didn't have to pay uh, a lot of money to get it back. Doom 64 rented this one back when it came out. Uh, 
and uh, recently bought this off eBay or Amazon recently a couple years ago Duke Nukem another one rented as you'll hear for through the N64 that I was there since the beginning renting a lot of the games so I want to say conservatively conservatively that I played at least one third of the American library because I almost rented a rented games uh, every Friday almost uh, another good one either bought it Amazon or eBay uh, recently same with this Duke Nukem yeah I was watching uh, Dean from Escape to Gaming and uh, General Lots they uh, talk about Duke Nukem uh, the Time to Kill the PlayStation version uh, I also rented that game back in the 90s, but uh, I was, uh, I'm more into the N64, so I got the N64 version of that game, uh, Zero Hour. Uh, the time, time to Kill is more of a platformer, where this is a, more of a third-person shooter. The Time to Kill is like Lara Croft, but with the Duke skin job. Another good game. I still gotta get that one, but uh, I got this one. Uh, Extreme G, another one I rented uh, back in the day. I recently got this one, a uh, good racer. Gex 64 rented that one back in the day. Uh, actually, it's Gex 2. Uh, recently bought this one off eBay or Amazon. GoldenEye 64. I believe I got this for my birthday back in '97. I rented it back in August when it came out. Late August, I think it was August 28th, 29th, uh, when it came out. Rented it first. One of my favorite games of all time. I think I should mention which uh, one's my favorite of all time. Yeah, good one. Uh, Hybrid Heaven, originally supposed to be a Metal Gear Solid game, but uh, again, the, then they changed it, rented this one back then, and uh, bought this one off Amazon because it was so cheap uh, a few years ago. Jet Force Gemini, a rare game, made by Rare, that is. Uh, another good one, got this one uh, around when it, when it launched, uh, I forget where, most likely Toys R Us. During the 90s, it was all about the Toys R Us before the EBs and the uh, Funk. Funko Lands and what have you. Kirby 64 rented that one back in the 90s. Uh, recently bought this one either off eBay or Amazon. Mega Man 64 bought this one new. I believe I bought it at the Toys R Us uh, back in the early 2000s. It's uh, Mega Man Legends, but for the N64. Not the good one. Mischief Makers. This one I see is on, on the rise. I went to a flea market I wanted to see the prices uh, so I was going for seven dollars when I got home that seems to be the going rate on eBay uh, a year later it went up to fourteen dollars uh, uh, the price doubled in a year and so and a certain uh, youtuber who likes to do hidden gems videos spotlighted this one so that I it was a time to buy it now before it gets even fucking higher so yeah I got this one for fourteen dollars around there off eBay or Amazon Mission Impossible rented that one back in the day. Got this one off uh, eBay. Uh, I also came with this uh, case here. One of these fucking plastic cases. I usually I used to have a bunch of these ones for the nest, but that one got lost in a move. NES nest, or however you want to pronounce it. Uh. Yeah, making sure we're in the right spot. Mortal Kombat Trilogy, uh, rented this one back in the get day. Had the strategy guide for it for almost 20 years before buying the game itself. <clears throat> Either <clears throat> eBay, yeah, this one was eBay a couple of years ago. Perfect. Dump. Like got GoldenEye so much, uh, I think I believe this uh, day one. I forget where, most likely Toys R Us. Uh, not as good as GoldenEye, but I like it. We got uh, Pokemon Stadium, got that Toys R Us near launch. Uh, came with the uh, transfer pack for the Game Boy. Rainbow Six, uh, bought that one at Toys R Us uh, back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Resident Evil 2, Toys R Us, uh, back in the 2000s. Uh, I think it was launch. Uh, Space Station Silicon Valley, rented this one back in the day. Make sure you have uh, the uh, original jumper pack because there's a. It likes to freeze uh, freeze up and crash if you're using the expansion pack. Even though I don't, I lost the fucking uh, jumper pack and only had the expansion pack. It's still beatable, but it crashes sometimes, so that's gonna piss you off. Just be aware of that it's it's beatable with the expansion pack. 
bought this one at Toys R Us back in the late, no, no, what am I saying, early 2000s, what the fuck. Got the Star Fox 64. Uh, my brother got this for his birthday back in the 97, and I recently bought, I believe this was 2017, I bought this off uh, eBay, so 20 years, finally got my own copy. Got uh, Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, rented that one yet again. Uh, bought this one a couple years ago off eBay with manual. Uh, Rogue Squadron, I uh, bought this one uh, near launch uh, back in the late 90s, or was it early? Yeah, late 90s. Wait, did I buy this or did I get it for Christmas? I, I forget. Uh, this one I know we got for uh, Christmas uh, one year uh, back in the late ni 90s. Uh, I asked my brother about this. I forget when we got. I know we uh, we rented uh, Super Mario 64. I used to play it on the uh, at Toys R Us on the kiosk before it came out. Uh, my brother doesn't know uh, where we got. It. I forget if we bought it uh, with our own money or my I got it for my birthday or for Christmas. Uh, Turok rented that one uh, back in the day. Uh, recently bought this one. Uh, either eBay or Amazon. This one we got for Christmas back uh, around when it came out. Uh, another good one. This one, uh, Turok 3. Uh, oh, Jesus. <clears throat> Too much talking. Not enough drinking. Uh, got this one fairly recently. Rented this one back in the day. Wave Race 64. Now, I know we rented that one back in the day before uh, we... I, before I think we bought a... Yes, uh, both the N64 without any games because uh, we saved up our own money for it. But what we did when we didn't have games, we rented them every weekend. So uh, that uh, occupied us until we started buying them. Uh, this one I recently got, but I rented it back in the day. Uh, WCW versus NWO. Got this one for Christmas, uh, The World's Not Enough. Uh, back in the late 90s and early 2000s. I uh, bought this one day one. If uh, you bought this, uh, I know I bought this one at Kmart. Uh, it came with, the, if you bought it the first day, you know, the special edition goodies. You got the CD, you got the t-shirt. I forget, I think that was it, uh, the special things you got. I have no idea where that shit went. I know the t-shirt was sh ripping up in it with holes over the years and the CD just fucking disappeared so I can't show you that. But, uh, probably find someone who does on eBay. I uh, yeah, what eBay? YouTube with the the one with the fucking videos. That's the one you watch. Uh Majora's Mask, I believe. I got the receipt for this. We'll get to that. Uh, uh so I bought it with another game, Final Fantasy 9, so you'll see how much these went for. Uh, I like this one better than Ocarina of Time. Uh uh I bought it at Game Factory. That's where I got it from. All right. Now let's go down to the Moving on down to the box stuff. Uh, Hexen. I got that back in like 2008, 2009 because it was so cheap. It was like $15. So I said, what the hell, I'll get the box stuff. Uh, Pilot Wings. I got that for Christmas, but this isn't the original box. This I got at from a moving job, found it in the attic. I asked them if I could take it, and they said, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Wing Rescue 3D Hockey. Got that off eBay. Uh, with the box since it was so cheap. Same with uh, WCW versus NWO. Uh, of course, rented these two games back in the day, uh, along with Hexen and High Pilot Wings. As a matter of fact, uh, all these box ones I rented back at Blockbuster back in the day. Uh, next up is uh, Winback. That also bought the in the box. So it was like fifteen dollars back in two thousand eight, two thousand nine, around that time. Uh, we got the memory card. If uh, you bought Nintendo Power, they gave you stickers to go over it. Here we have Dash Rendar for my original one. More stickers uh, for the Rumble Pack. We got the Transfer Pack uh, with the Pokemon Stadium. And if your analog sticks are fucked up because of Mario, Mario, Mario Party, uh, you can replace them with this. Uh, it works pretty good. Uh, works for those uh, hard, hard to reach jumps uh, where you have to be the analog stick has to be absolutely to the fucking edge or you don't go as fast as possible uh, works for Castlevania I remember that helps with that You're doing those platforming jumps got some composite cables here let's shine some light on the subject 
Got the uh, robe. Got the uh, blue controller here with the. I put a sticker on it. Uh, that was for the memory cards from the Nintendo Power, and I put put tape over it because, as you can see, the ink was starting to rub off, and it looks like it didn't have much gloss on it to protect the paint. We got uh, the original one that came with original uh, controller that came with the system, except uh, some of my special effects fell on this and it uh, melted uh, the buttons and the analog sticks, so I had to replace this. I had to replace the the cover, the top covers. Uh, Franken, so it's a Frankenstein controller at the moment. Uh, so it's mostly the original controller, but uh, had to replace parts. Uh, this is actually a friend of mine's controller. I gotta give it back to him sometimes. Uh, that's what happens in moves. I didn't even put this in. I don't know how it got in my fucking box, but that's what happens. Uh, I got some of their shit, and they took some of my shit in the moves, so... More of the stories, don't fucking move. Uh, stay in one spot so you don't lose shit. People don't take the wrong shit, and you don't take their shit. Uh, yeah. Alright, uh, step going down to the Sega shit, we're gonna continue along with the uh, Nintendo stuff. The GameCube stuff. First up is uh, we have uh, Die Hard. Got that from Toys R Us, even got the, uh, the receipt, I'll show you that in a second. Let's see, Toys R Us. Uh, of course, the ink started to come off, so I uh, had to write it down with the... Uh, pen so you can see it more visible die hard see see the prices of these uh, games when they're brand new $49.99 plus tax I know people complain about uh, melee being $50 on eBay. Well, that's what they originally went for Playing that's not a fucking dollar Jesus. Well, that's what they went for remember that if you get anything under $50 You're getting a deal plus if you adjust for inflation you're getting an even better deal uh Eternal Darkness here, I played that at the mall for five five seconds, uh, uh, then I bought this one, uh, was it uh, 2006, uh, off, e no, Amazon I believe it was. Uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles got the uh, receipt for this one. Uh, now my brother accused me of selling one of his games uh, for trade-in to get this game, but I got the proof right here. Uh, Let's see, bought it, uh, 2004. See, there's my PS2 broken, sold it for $40. It was worth zero dollars to me because it was broke, so $40 was pretty good. Yeah, I sold that Metroid Prime because it, uh, I, it didn't have the fucking, uh, strafe, and I was looking for a good, uh, first-person shooter. It had that Ze Legend of Zelda Z, uh, targeting bullshit where you got lock on to strafe. Unless if there was a manual strafe, I didn't see, I'd like to know. Uh, sold Mortal Kombat Special for a dollar. Uh, that's pretty. See, none of the shit, none of these games were his that I sold. Like, I don't know what game he accused me of fucking selling on him. Uh, and Chris Cron, see, forty nine ninety nine, state of New Jersey. When it was six dollars on a nut, six cents on a dollar. Now it's seven cents on a dollar. They like to rip you off and fucking rob you blind. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, I believe I got is next. I believe I got that Game Factory. Luigi's Mansion got that Game Factory. Next up, another game I got from uh, Game Factory, uh, Resident Evil Zero. Uh, back in 2002 on launch. Got uh, the remake, got that uh, on launch day at the uh, Game Factory. Uh, Resident Evil 4, let's see if I got the receipt. I, where did I get that from? Got it from Best Buy, 2005, January uh, 18th. $49.99. $49.99 these games were. Yeah. Jedi Outcast. Uh, got that either off Amazon or eBay not too long ago. Uh, uh, Rogue Leader, I got the... Uh, this uh, near launch of the system, I bought uh, was it two games uh, before this uh, before I bought the system because uh, what happened with uh, the N64 I had no games to play, I had to rent them, so I bought the games before the system. I bought uh, Luigi's Mansion and uh, Melee before I got the system, and I believe this was uh, the one after it. I bought after those games. 
uh, coat hanger abortion here, uh, su Super Mario Sunshine, I uh, got that day one, I uh, got, got this from Kmart, uh, it kind of came with the, uh, st strategy guide, not as good as, uh, obviously, uh, Mario 64, also one of my favorite games of all time, I forgot to mention, yeah. You got Super Smash Brothers Melee, everybody's favorite fighting game. Everybody fucking complaining, oh it's fifty dollars, it's fifty dollars. Well that's what it originally sold for, and it's one of the best games, so why are you fucking complaining? It's worth the fucking money. Always whining about the fucking prices, even when it's only five dollars or ten dollars, it's too fucking expensive. They want it all for a dollar. None of these were a fucking dollar. Did I just put that Fucking wrong way. Yes, I did. Thank you for t mentioning that to me. Yeah, let's see if I put them in uh, correctly in alphabetical order. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I uh, put these in the uh, series uh, name alphabetical order and then go by chronological of uh, of uh, the storyline of uh, the games. Like you see how Zero's here before the remake, even though uh, the remake was uh, released uh, earlier 2002 and uh, Zero was released in uh, late 2002. So, uh, chronological of story and how uh, Contra and Super C were together instead of putting uh, Super C and S that was uh, at C. Uh, Time Splitters, I believe I bought that out off Amazon not too long ago. Uh, Wind Waker, I got that for Christmas uh, uh, sometime in a mid aughts late aughts uh, moving on to the Wii shit uh, I bought this at Best Buy let's see yeah I bought it at uh, Best Buy uh, 2009 uh, this was one of the cheaper titles for 40 bucks uh, the second game I bought for the uh, Wii uh, I got this at uh, let me see Game Factory Oh, EB Games is where I got it, not Game Factory, for $40. Uh, uh, $40 uh, back in, uh, what the fuck, uh, 2007. Alright, well that uh, dates where I, when I bought the system back in 2000, because I bought the system first and I wanted some games. Uh, first game I bought for the Wii was uh, Zelda, but I wanted a first person shooter. But if you know me in the comments, I don't like Call of Duty. This is uh, before it... Uh, Started to fucking influence the industry with the mediocrity, the linearity, the bullshit, uh, the lowest common denominator, made for retards. Yeah, this was at a time before the genre started uh, to fucking uh, yeah, become shit. I remember the late 90s for the 64, we got Golma, we got Doom, we got Duke Nukem. Uh, let's see what else, there's another one I'm uh, Perfect Dark. Uh, yeah, and then they come out with this uh, fucking Wolfenstein is, is less than linear. That's basically the thing. Linearity is seems made for retards who don't know what how to navigate. I don't like that shit. It's insulting to my intelligence, so I don't like it. So uh, this is the first Call of Duty I played. That's why I bought it, even though I don't like the series. I wanted a shooter for the system. The Conduit. Uh, Okay, uh, I was looking for a, after the N64 and GameCube. I'm looking for. I was looking, basically turn of the century, looking for a, a really good first-person shooter. Halo uh, was uh, the best uh, at the turn of the century, but uh, dumb things down. Uh, what was great about Halo was the two-player co-op. That was the best thing it did. Uh, this I got out at. Let me see. Is it EB? Before it changed to GameStop, yeah, no, it was GameStop at the time. Yeah, EB became fucking GameStop, changing the names all around. I got that back. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll check it fucking again. I got the date right here, uh, 2009, June 24th. Conduit 2 uh, is next. I got that Best Buy. I remember, but you know, uh, let's just check the fuck. Uh, got it. Uh, where the fuck's the date? 2011, there you go. 2011 is when I got the Conduit 2 at Best Buy. Uh, next up, uh, Dead Rising. Got that that uh, GameStop. Uh, I was correct this time. GameStop, uh, February 24th, 2009. Another good one. 
Uh, next up, uh, Donkey Kong uh, Returns. Got that for Christmas. Epic Mickey. I got the uh, uh, day one, the special edition, as you saw back up on the shelf. You saw the little figurine. Uh, next up is Ghostbusters. I got that the same day as the Blu-ray when this this came. Got it the same day uh, the Blu-ray came out. The game came out. Uh, also got the PS3 versions because uh, they're. The Wii version of the PlayStation and uh, Xbox versions are different. Uh, GoldenEye 007. I uh, did a walkthrough of this one if you want to see it. Uh, got this one day of launch uh, with the uh, gold controller, the special edition. Uh, let's see, we got the. Right, while we're at the controllers, we got the uh, Smash controller for the Wii U. Uh, let's see, while we'll move this over, we got the gold controller. Got the. Uh, Skyward Sword uh, controller. Alright, moving on over. We got uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Got that for Christmas one year. Uh, last story, that was a hot sell. I remember uh, my friend worked there at the time, uh, a friend from school. Uh, he said, uh, I think it just came in or came in yesterday, and it, uh, I was the one to buy it. So it's a hot seller. Uh, let's see. Did I fuck it? Oh, yeah, I bought it before Hurricane Sandy. Uh, no, no, I, no, I bought it after Hurricane Sandy. Uh, November 23rd, 2012. So, yeah, that, this house was flooded. Got for it. $27.99. Mad World's, uh, recent, uh, uh, about a year ago. When I, when I say recent. Uh, fuck it, I'll, ch I'll check the fucking... Oh, nope. I bought it with some other games. Doesn't have the receipt inside. Bought it fairly recently. Uh, from Game GameStop. Uh, for five bucks, can't beat that. Uh, Manhunt 2 bought that day of release, Halloween, I believe it came out. Let's check the receipt. Uh, yeah, Halloween 2007 for 40 bucks. It was a budget title uh, from Game yeah, EB EB at the time. Uh, Manhunt got uh, Mario Kart Wii, the worst Wii uh, of them all. Excuse me. Worst Mario Kart uh, game of them all, because uh, the rubber banding. Oh my god! If you're in first, they oh spam you with the fucking uh, blue shells, the lightning, and everything, and then you end up in uh, when you're about to cross the lap, the finish line at the last lap, you always uh, fucking spammed with that shit, and you lose. Uh, one time, uh, the very uh, rare times I'm ever in last, uh, then uh, all the good items came to me. I'm like, what the fuck? I should have lost that fucking race, and I managed to get in first with all the bullet bills and all that shit. So no, I I don't like this uh, that uh, handicaps. It, it rewards people for sucking. Uh, if you got skill, you're gonna be a loser. If you're a loser, they're they're gonna fucking hand it to you like a baby. Uh, knights, uh, not as good as the original knights or Christmas knights. Uh, got that for five dollars. The controlling's a bit uh, not as good as uh, the original game. Got that for five dollars not too long. I think the receipt might be in here. Let's see. Uh got the receipt, but uh yeah, five four ninety nine to be exact. Uh rounding up by the penny. I uh, got it uh July twenty fourth, uh seventeen. Oh uh, yeah, I got it uh I bought this the day after uh Slopes uh what's his name? Daniel something uh did his uh, review on the series. Uh, yeah, uh, funny story, uh, when I went to go get it, uh, you know how, uh, GameStop has, uh, the generic fucking things that's, uh, the cases that say its name, I took the case, brought to the counter, and this was already sitting there in the back, and, uh, the cashier handed it to me, and I asked him, uh, did that just come in? Uh, he was like, no, somebody, uh, asked us to hold it for, for him, but he never came in. So, yeah, I believe, uh, uh another case of highlighting games on these YouTubes, uh, it does raise prices because uh, it highlights them. More people don't know it, and now more people want to buy it. So, yeah, I believe that guy also saw the video too. That's a uh, weird coincidence if uh, this particular game uh, wanted to be bought at the same time. It's not like a very popular game. Just bringing that up. Punch Out, I believe I bought that the uh, same day it was released. Uh, let's see, where did I get it? GameStop. Yeah, I'm, it's probably going to be EB or GameStop at. Uh, later release games for this uh, generation. Red Steel, I got that. This might be the one with the receipt. Nope. No, I got this one off uh, Amazon. Reason why I'm confused, because uh, I bought, uh, what's it, three games that day, because they're so cheap. Uh, 
it was a manhunt, something else, and something else. And uh, I was looking at Red Steel, but uh, buying all them fucking games at the same time, I didn't get it. I bought it later for five bucks off Amazon. Uh, I believe I got this the day of release. Uh, Resident Evil 4. Well, let's see what time I got the receipt. Uh, GameStop, well, EB at the time. Uh, August 3rd, uh, 2007 for 30 bucks. Yeah, there you go. If that was the release date for this for the Wii, the Wii version. You got the uh, Resident Evil uh, Umbrella Chronicles. I believe I bought that. Uh, both of them, uh, GameStop, I believe, same day uh, uh, launch. Uh, Silent Hill, I know, I definitely remember you buying this one on uh, launch day. Uh, came with the CD with the music. Uh, Sonic Colors, I believe, I bought that at uh, GameStop uh, release day. Uh, Super Mario uh, Wii, uh, I, got, I believe I got that from Best Buy. I know, I definitely didn't get it at launch. I got it, uh, yeah, I was correct. Best Buy, uh, May 12th, 2010. Mario Galaxy, I know I got that at uh, launch date. And if I... And if you bought the Super Mario... Uh, Galaxy on launch day, they give you this uh, little coin, but unfortunately, somebody fucking, uh, somebody fucking stole it on me, and you see it's not here. I never take it out, uh, uh, and if I do take it out, it goes right back in. I have no fucking idea where it went. I looked all over. So I gotta find this uh, fucking thing. Piss me off. All right, uh, so my Galaxy. Dropping shit all over. We got the nunchuck falling over. Stop that Mario Galaxy it's Brawl. I right. uh, bought that uh, day of release uh, at uh, GameStop. They ha held a tournament there. Uh, you, uh, I beat the first two fighters there. I lost the third one. Uh, I wish I had uh, good internet at the time. I don't think we had internet at the time. I had to go to the library. Uh, I was at a different house at the time. So I didn't have internet to see what the how the mechanics worked. Uh, I saw some other players uh, there. They, they knew exactly how the what was it what the smash ball works. The suit I forget what the fucking thing. The super move. Yeah, if I only knew that because I was fighting the guy was Link, and if you know his super move, you gotta, you gotta be real close for it to work. Uh, so, but I thought all the super moves uh, were a screen killing fucking super move like the ice climbers. I saw that one that pretty much hits everybody. So, uh, if I only stayed away, I could probably won that uh, the third fight, but uh, didn't know uh, the mechanics of the game. So, and knowledge is power, kids. Remember that. Yeah, I'll show you right here. They get yeah. You see, if you won a match, they give you a little trophy. I won two of them, so I got two. I won two, so I got two of the out of a box. Uh, or three, or did I beat three people? Two or three people. I know I at least beat three people in that tournament. But I wish I could have done better if I, well, I obviously nobody played the game, but uh, it seemed like more people uh, had better internet access and uh, knew what was going on. Uh, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, here's one game I was uh, considering import in the, the Japanese system to play, because uh, it looked like because all the licensing you know, was hard to uh, get uh, released. I know I bought this day one, so it, it's thanks to Seth Kellyan to... Uh, Thank him for having this released. Another good one. We play bought this. I believe I bought this at Target just for the. Uh, let's see. Do I have a fucking receipt? Uh, receipt. Nope. Do not. Bought this one because it came with the uh, Wii Mote. Uh, same thing with the Wii uh, Sports Resort. It came with the uh, uh, Motion Plus. Let's see where did I get this. Best Buy. I got this at Best Buy at the uh, August 1st, uh, 2009. Yeah. We have Twilight Princess, the first game I bought for the Wii. Uh, game Factory, uh, June 7th, 2007 for 50 bucks. Uh, there you go. Then we got Skyward Sword. I know I bought that day of launch. Uh, came with the... Uh, I just showed you the... The gold can uh, Wiimote. Uh, and then we got some of our. Got the uh, cross sword training that came with the uh, the thing to put the Wiimote in the gun. 
And we got Wii Sports that came as a pack in. Everybody loves Wii Sports, everybody plays that. Jesus, what the fuck is this now? Receipt uh, for uh, the nunchuck. Uh, what, 10 bucks? Yeah, I gotta reorganize this uh, better later. Not right now, I'm in the middle of something. All right, moving on over, wrapping around to the right, the right wall. Uh, we got uh, the Wii U stuff. We got uh, Batman Origins. Bought that at Toys R Us. Uh, Ducktales Remastered, same thing. Toys R Us, not too long ago. Mario Kart 8. I here's one of the ones that I bought a bunch of games for uh, at uh, GameStop. Mario Kart 8. Uh, and Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Yeah. Nintendo Land, one of the worst games ever made. Uh, came packed in with the Wii U. I don't like that game. Uh, Pikmin 3. As you can see, uh, they, they stopped. Uh, when they stopped, this is the reprinted one. After they stopped production, by the more people on it, so it's uh, one of the selects. This one I bought with a couple games I remembered. Uh, did it, did it. GameStop, obviously. Uh, March 13th, 2016, I got uh, Metal Gear Rising, uh, Aliens, Colonial Marines, and Pikmin 3. Uh, yeah. Then we got Pokken Tournament over here. I got that uh, release day. Uh, Resident Evil uh, Revelations. I think I got that with the birthday coupon. Let's see. Yeah, we got the birthday coupon, uh, $3 off, uh, 2015. Uh, I forget if I bought this before I got the Wii, I got the Wii U for Christmas, was it 2014, 15, 16, something like that. I forget. Shovel Knight, uh, I believe I got that from, uh, GameStop. Uh, Splatoon I bought, uh, GameStop, uh, day one. Uh, Super Mario World, that came with, uh, the system. Super Smash Brothers uh, Wii U. I believe I got this uh, day one. Let's check the fuck. Yeah, yeah, I definitely got. It. I see the fucking uh, pre-order receipts right here. Uh, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Uh, bought that uh, day one. Another good one. Uh, Zombie U. Uh, I know I got that with the birthday coupon. Let's see when we got it. We got the receipt right here. Uh, Got for uh, November 20th, yeah. Zombie U, 2013, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I got the. All right, there you go. We I got either Christmas uh, 2013 or 2014. Uh, next up, we got Star Fox. Bought that day one. Uh, I think I'm starting to run out of memory here, so uh, I'm gonna have to cut this, uh, dump it on the computer, and uh, come right back. So I'm gonna see if I can finish off the Switch shit. Uh, we got ARMS bought that day one, surprisingly good. Uh, we got DOOM, got that for Christmas last year, 2017, along with the uh, Fire Emblem. Uh, we got Retro City Rampage, uh, had to pre-order that, uh, it's a limited edition one. Uh, bought it for the digitally for the Wii, uh, and now they finally got a physical one. I had to order this from the website, their website. Uh, we got... Uh, it's SNK Heroines. Uh, oh, I got that a day a day before, a day or two before it was supposed to release because I got it in the mail. They shipped it earlier. Uh, I got the special edition of that uh, up right there. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Super Mario Man. I got that at GameStop. Uh, not launched sometime a little bit after that of the system. Super Mario Odyssey, got that day one. Finally, a worthy uh, sequel to uh, Mario 64. Uh, Legend of Zelda, got that day one uh, with the system. Uh, I didn't want to be like uh, N64 all over again, having no games to play. So I uh, spent the money and got it. Got the uh, GameCube adapters, and uh, I'm going to cut that right there, dump this, and come back. All right, I just dumped uh, that memory, and I got a new battery, so I'm ready to go. Oh yeah, uh, while waiting for that to dump, I probably forgot to mention that I also have these stacked horizontally and not vertically, so they're easy to get in and out, and so the bottom of the games aren't crushed. 
Yeah, I was watching Happy Console uh, Gamers uh, uh, Room uh, Collection video uh, earlier today, and I remember that in the comments. Everybody was saying, talking about that, how he's uh, squashing the games vertically. He's uh, <clears throat> uh, he's got um, not an ABC order. I always told you that these are an ABC order. Uh, he's also got them double stacked, so they are hard to get to the ones in the back. So. Uh, all my games are easily easily accessible, so uh, when you double stack that shit, then you don't want to play that game because all oh, you're like, oh shit, no, nah, I don't want to take all that out. So, uh, all right, now we uh, moved on. We're going back to the left wall where we're down to the Sega stuff. Uh, starting with, uh, I got a. This one doesn't have a case. I'm I'm trying to get the uh, cases for all my games. So most of them, uh, except for like. Uh, was it, uh, one or two of them don't have a case, uh, and all right, uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you when I get there. Uh, this one I bought, uh, years ago, uh, not this particular one, I bought this one new, but it came in a cardboard box, uh, you know, they, Sega got cheap towards the end, uh, with the cardboard boxes, but this one I, uh, got from another move, somebody was throwing it out, uh, I asked them for it, and, uh, I got it. So I gotta rebuy, uh, the, the cardboard box but it looks like uh, they don't sell by themselves uh, that much on eBay so I might have to just buy the whole thing a game manual and everything uh, sometime down the line uh, alright here we are a uh, master system uh, oh yeah before uh, we talk about that I uh, with the spaces up here I like to have uh, one at least one controller for the system so it's uh, I can easily connect it uh, up to the system when I bring it down uh, so I, have, uh, I have the extra controllers in the closet in the box, so yeah, got the four tap here. We got the uh, menacer. We got the justifier light guns. Uh, we got uh, the six button controller for the uh, was it Genesis or yeah, we got Saturn controller over here. We got the 3D controller on top, and we got the uh, uh, six uh, player port uh, for the Saturn and we got the light gun the stunner for the Saturn over there all right uh, whoa shit fall into the fucking bed here all right back to the master system uh, uh, fanny star fantasy star I played that on the emu emulator uh, that's the first place I played it uh, five minutes of the game and I knew it was a masterpiece uh, 2006 I buy it late <coughs> I buy it all uh, yeah, eBay, that's where I got this, uh, eBay played all the way through, and it, uh, with the, uh, played all the way through, and it's a masterpiece, he, with that five minutes, uh, of playing on an emulator, uh, was enough to, uh, give a good judgment of what the game would be, all the way through, uh, Rambo, uh, Rambo, <coughs> Rambo First Blood Part 2, ah, oh, shit, I bought that, uh, let's see, I actually bought this first uh, uh, after I bought the uh, system in 2006 uh, off Amazon, but that's because uh, originally Fantasy Star was going to be the first game I was going to buy, but I had to wait for it, uh, the money to go into PayPal, so uh, technically first game I wanted to buy is uh, Fantasy Star, but uh, I bought this one first uh, off Amazon, but uh, Fantasy Star delivered uh, before Rambo did. Uh, next up, Shinobi, uh, bought that off... Uh, eBay, I believe. Uh, it has one of the worst endings in uh, video game history. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, the last game to, uh, released for the Master System in America. Uh, I actually bought this one uh, from England because uh, it's a lot cheaper. The only difference between a European and uh, American one is a, a sticker, a barcode sticker that goes over this because uh, that's what they uh, did back then. Uh, Master System was more popular in Europe and uh, Brazil, so they just shipped these uh, over to America and just put their barcode on it. Uh, the game's programmed for uh, 60 frames per second, so if you're playing on a European uh, system going 50 uh, frames a second, or a megahertz as uh, they call it, uh, <clears throat> uh, the game runs slower. So if you uh, look on uh, YouTube, look videos between uh, played on American console and uh, European one, you'll see this one plays slower, the music's slower. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this I also got from England. Uh, you know what? I'll open one of these up, I'll show you. Let's see. 
Royal Mail, England. Yeah. Royal Mail, England. Yeah. Now this uh, game, on the other hand, uh, this was uh, made after 1991, uh, so it was uh, specifically made for the 50 frames per second uh, European uh, Master System, so when you play this on an American system, it'll run uh, faster. So uh, watch my, i done a playthrough of this one, so watch this, and uh, basically the Terminator theme uh, is what makes it obvious, so you'll hear it play faster. You know you know how the theme goes for the Terminator. Watch uh, my playthrough and pl watch a uh, PAL version, and you'll see the PAL version uh, runs the music right. Oh, shit. Next up, uh, uh, Alien 3 for the Genesis. Uh, as you can see, I don't have uh, only five Master System games. Uh, Genesis, I uh, rented this one back in the... Uh, Early to mid 90s, my brother eventually got it sometime in the 90s for Christmas, and uh, I bought this a uh, couple years ago. Uh, I believe uh, Amazon. It got the. Yep, I was correct. Amazon. 14.49. Bought it uh, 2016. Hmm. Next up, uh, Contra Hardcore, not Corpse, as everybody likes to say, like the Marine Corps, Hardcore. It's also a pun, it's a hardcore game. Uh, this was an Impulse Buy, uh, got it at the mall. Uh, yeah. Lucky we got it now, because the prices are skyrocketing on this. It's uh, one of the better Contra games, I really like it. I might do a playthrough of this sometime in the future. Alright, now this game... Uh, Came with uh, the lot of uh, when I bought the Sega CD and the <coughs> Sega Model 2. Uh, I put this one in the attic, uh, in the attic for a long time because I, I was gonna sell it because it didn't look like a good game. But then on the recommendation uh, recommendation of RGT85 in one of his videos, I brought it down and played it through. Still not a good game, uh, but now since I've beaten it, it's in the collection right now. <coughs> oh Jesus! Oh. Uh. Next up, we got two uh, Gunstar Heroes. Uh, this one uh, sells for around $90, complete in the box on eBay. Uh, here's, uh, we gotten this one uh, at uh, James Way. Remember that fucking store? Uh, back in the early to mid 90s, I was an impulse buy by simply looking at the box, looking at the picture. It looked good, and it's one of the best uh, uh, run and gun shooters for the system, if not for uh, the genre. Yeah, just. An impulse by just looking at the uh, screenshots, it looked like a good game, and we were uh, correct. Uh, now the reason why there's two of them, because uh, in case my brother wanted, to, of course, when uh, some of these games were bought for me and my brother back in the day, and uh, you got to come to that point when you got to split them up. Uh, there. So I was hedging my bets back in the day. This was uh, Gunstar Heroes. Uh, what one was this? Uh, 2008 was when I got it for 35.94 complete in the box. So in case uh, in case if he wanted to get the game, I have one for myself ahead of time. I was hedging my bets in case the price went up on this one, uh, which it did, because it's uh, one of the best games I played, and uh, and uh, nobody ever talked about this game back in the day. Uh, the only time I seen it is uh, with. Uh, Buying that James Way Impulse Buy. Nobody talked about it in the magazines. Uh, no friends put, uh, talked about it. Nobody owned it. Only us. So uh, by that, by the <clears throat> that some that by that ev evidence, uh, I concluded it didn't sell very well. Uh, so high demand, low supply, increased prices. So uh, I got lucky on this one. Uh, so yeah, the, another YouTuber was complaining and that why is this one always on the top 10 list of Sega Genesis or shooters? Well, uh, well, it's finally getting the recognition that it deserved because, uh, like I said, uh, nobody talked about it back in the day. Nobody owned it uh, except for me. So yeah, it's finally getting the recognition that it deserves. Uh, Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, yeah, my brother isn't much into the retro too much, he's more of a, plays Xbox One, that's his uh, big thing. So, that's why I have both of them here now. Uh, well, if he wants it, I, I got one for him. 
I don't think he even has a Genesis system. Uh, this one I got, I believe I got for my birthday back in uh, 93 or 94. One of my favorite games I played a lot before going for it uh, to school. <coughs> uh, this one, uh, used to see this advertised in the comic books all the time, Robocop Terminator. Had a big uh, campaign, just didn't have the movie come out. Never too late, but then it'd probably be shit. Let's see, you got it at uh, EB. EB, let's see what I bought that day. We got uh, uh, just the game in the case for both of these games. Uh, Terminator, the, uh, we'll get to that in a second for Sega. Terminator, uh, 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 Terminator, excuse me, Robocop versus the Terminator, what we're looking at. So, four, four forty nine for a game in case. The manual years later caught. Well, at least if you include shipping. Shipping. Uh, 2016, I finally completed it. Very violent, very good. Love this game. Shinobi rented this one uh, back in the uh, early to mid 90s at uh, Easy Video. Mark from Classic Game Room uh, did a review on this. Uh, so, uh, another game highlighted uh, that more people know of its existence, so I had to buy it uh, very soon. That jumped in priority back, uh... What's this? Pockets. Uh... What the... There we go. 2017, so a couple... Either a day after or a couple days after, uh, I went and bought this on Amazon. Uh, I talked to the guy, uh, I didn't get... I don't... I forget if he sent me a picture, because you know Amazon does, doesn't always have a picture of what you're getting. Uh, the guy who sold it to me says uh, it's one of his uh, best condition games uh, he has in his collection, and I believe him still has the hang tab and everything. Look at this. Looks mint. Uh, it has all the manuals, all the other advertisement shit in it. And of course, uh, here's my little notes. I like these cases. I have my notes for the walkthroughs. Uh, but it seems that... Uh, since Mark uh, has been off and on YouTube, he hasn't had the kill out he used to have, so the price didn't jump too high, or I was fast enough before it went too high. Let's see, how, how much did I buy it for? Well, we're at top down price. Uh, $29.56. Uh, so cheaper than uh, what it was uh, brand new, and it looks brand new, so I, I like the price. But, you know, those whiners whining about the price. It should only be one dollar. One fucking dollar. It's too expensive over one. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you, you should have bought these fucking new. Try buying them fucking $50 or more. Uh, this one, uh, I'm not a variant collector. I don't, I don't care about this, but this one was going to the garbage. Uh, <coughs> uh, another moving job. Uh, they didn't want it. I said, I'll take it. <coughs> Doesn't have a, it's just a case, uh, no game. This is uh, uh, the resale version. Now here's the one I got uh, for uh, Christmas, uh, 91 or 92, I'm going to say 91, not for resale, this is the original one. Uh, I first played this game at Sears, which uh, they're now going out of business this year, I, be I believe. Well, I know the one uh, where I got uh, first played this on the kiosk, well not kiosk, it was just sitting out there by a TV, and have that shit just laying out there at Sears. Played all the way and beat the first boss, uh, had to walk away and not see the uh, second level. Uh, this is another one I got in, uh, moving somebody out of their house, uh, cleanup job. Sonic 2 in there. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, well, while we're here, since this is what's, uh, holding shit up. Uh, this is the second AV cable that came with my, uh, Neo Geo AES. I know, uh, AJ Rosa from, uh, Mastercast, uh, TV I was talking about, uh, uh that came with two, uh, AV cables, and he wanted, uh, to know why there was there two. Well, that, uh, usually when you buy the system, they also throw all the other shit they were collecting in uh, to the to the bundle. Uh, so that's why there was two AV cables. This one is still in the box. All right. Now back to Sonic 2. Uh, uh, got this one in the move. They're throwing things out. Uh, got it for free, but uh, of course the manual. Uh, I had to buy that. Uh, it didn't come with the manual, so the manual costs more than the game in the box itself. 
Also saw Street Fighter 2, same thing, same, I believe it was the same uh, moving job, uh, cleanup job. Gave it to me, uh, had to buy the manual. <coughs> uh, Super Street Fighter 2, uh, got that uh, for Christmas, I believe, 94, Christmas 94, 95. Uh, next up, uh, Streets of Rage, I rented this back in the, back in the early 90s. <coughs> oh, back in the work. Gonna sound like Howard Hughes, uh, fucking uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, and uh, the Aviator repeating it, fucking himself. Uh, I just bought the uh, stereo systems, uh, and I wanted to also buy a game with some good music, so uh, I bought this one to go along with it and test it out. Uh, even though I got the Streets of Rage 2, I uh, bought. I believe we got that from Kmart back in the early 90s. I might have even rented that one. I forget if we rented that before we bought it. <coughs> Uh, Taz Escape from Mars, got that for my birthday, uh, in the 90s, uh, uh, Tiny Toons, uh, All-Stars, uh, uh, rented that back in the day, <coughs> uh, but this one was also got, gonna be thrown out, I still gotta get the manual, uh, I think that was the same moving job, uh, of course, as, uh, next up is Terminator 2, as you saw in the receipt with, uh, Terminator vs. Robocop, uh, I bought that the same day. You can see the little stickers from uh, EB. Yeah. Uh, I don't take those off uh, so you know where I got them from. A uh, little bit of history. Uh, my friend used to have the next game, uh, World of Illusion. Uh, played that one a lot. Uh, finally bought it uh, a couple years later. Uh, let's see. Alright, uh, yeah. bought it with uh, birthday money from uh, my grandma. So technically, she bought this uh, November 28th, uh, 2016 for 2260 complete. Uh, next up is the Punisher. The case is a repro uh, reproduction. I gotta stop speaking too fast and slow it down. Uh, the Punisher, but the game itself is uh, authentic. So, but I'm still I'm looking for the authentic uh, case uh, insert and manual. So if uh, somebody's uh, Got their game broken and wants to sell them the case and the manual uh, for a reasonable price. Hopefully, uh, for less than what I got it for. I got it for like sixty, seventy dollars back in uh, two thousand eight, two thousand nine, around there. So, I'm in the market for the case and manual to uh, officially complete it. Ah, shit. Uh, up next, uh, cliffhanger. Look how nice this case is. No, but I bought this. Uh, off Amazon, I didn't look at any picks, it just said complete, and uh, to my surprise, it's one of the best uh, conditions case, because obviously nobody played it. Uh, most people don't like this game, I like it to a certain extent. Uh, if you want to see how you can uh, beat the uh, <coughs> snowboarding levels, uh, that's one of the hardest uh, things to do in uh, all of gaming, uh, go watch my uh, walkthrough of it. Uh, yeah. Although most people would say, uh, uh, with your uh, more fuck, no, I'll get to them. Uh, more fucked up uh, cased games for better games. You should replace the good case uh, with the bad cases on the better game. Uh, Echo the Dolphin. Uh, I got that sometime around to 2004 ish, 2005, somewhere around there when I got the Sega CD off of eBay. Uh, Tides of Time I got a little bit later. Let's see if I got a, got the receipt. Nope, uh, I don't see the receipt. Sometime later. <clears throat> uh, Jurassic Park, uh, let's see what that, nah, I definitely bought this off of eBay, but the, before that, let's, I have no idea what store it was sold from, from, uh, yeah, another good one, Jurassic Park, got that one around 2004 to 2005, around there, uh, Here's another one I bought off Amazon, didn't even see a pick, it just said complete in the box. Uh, Lethal Enforcers 1 and 2. Condition is uh, near mint, because nobody played the light gun games, because uh, uh, like watching AVGN's uh, James and Mike Mondays, they were playing Duck Hunt, they didn't play them, because, uh, uh, well James didn't play them, because they didn't work too good, well with the LCDs, they work on the CRT TVs. Now you see the back is uh, Lethal Enforcers 2 Gunfighters. But uh, if you don't know, uh, Lethal Enforcers uh, 1 only came in the big box, which I don't have. It came in with the uh, light gun. Got a 
taking that down. So what I did here is uh, with the lethal enforcer. Oh, there goes the papers. Fuck them. Fuck them all. Let them all fall. Uh, with the lethal enforcers too, I got the. I bought this. Uh, <clears throat> uh, was it prize fighter? Had a double case uh, door right here. So I I bought one and two in the same case. Can open this up. I bought the uh, manuals here, but I put the uh, Lethal Enforcers 1 on the front so you know it's in here. And as uh, it says Lethal Enforcers 2 right there, and Lethal Enforcers 2 on the back. Now I gotta collect all that shit that just fucking fell. Near mint, yeah, mint case. Let's see what the, let's see what's this. Ah, just a little note on how to beat uh, Terminator 2, the arcade game. Uh, my little note, that's probably uh, where most people die is the third level on the truck, so just uh, read this and that should help you. And it's a first draft, so if any gra grammatical mistakes are there, it's a first draft. Ugh. Next up, Lunar. Let's see. Now you see, uh, no, the case is pretty good, so the manual's fucked up. You know why it's fucked up? It's a rental. Here we go. If, inst if instructions are not returned, you must purchase this game. Seventy dollars and oh, seventy-nine dollars, even. See, kids, how much money these games were back then when they were new? Seventy-nine dollars. RPG, a lot of memory. Yeah, complaining. Oh, it's not one dollar. If you're paying more than one dollar, it's too expensive. Don't buy it. You're being ripped off. You're being ripped off. Uh, these fuckers don't like gaming. They're only liking it because it's the popular thing nowadays. Uh, a lot of complaints in the fucking comment sections. Oh, this one I'm glad I got back then. Pop for mail, like... See this one, some would say, switch out the cliffhanger and the, uh... Lethal Enforcers and, uh, switch out the inserts and give it a better case, uh, for pop for mail. This I bought, like, $60, $70 back in 2008, 2009, I just looked up today. Disc alone, auction, is at uh, $200 now, that's the cheapest, just the disc. Now, if you want the complete in case, it's like 300 going on up. I'm glad I got this when I did. $60, $70 back in 2008, 2009. Never played it. Look, looked good. I like it. It's an action RPG, sort of like a Zelda 2 for the NES. Uh, really good. Yep. Uh, self feed. Uh, this one came uh, with my uh, Sega CD, uh, the bundle. Uh, back in those days for about like hundred bucks. They'll throw you everything in their collection. This was uh, one of the games I uh, This is an, an acquired taste originally. I was gonna sell it, but I said fuck it. I'll try and beat it uh, It's a pretty good uh, shooter. It uses FMV backgrounds. Uh, it's a spaceship shooter uh, Only thing is I can't beat this game. It's scratched up. I gotta buy the disc uh, so uh, this and uh, Cannon fodder are the only games that in my collection I haven't beat, uh, but I can't beat this one, so it's scratched up. So technically, I beat every game in my collection before can I bought Cannon fodder. So I gotta buy, rebuy this disc. And, uh, and well, you know what? The fucked up part is it's at the final boss is when the game stops loading and crashes. I even put in the uh, let's see if it was a fluke. I put in the password to go all the way to the final boss. Same spot every time freezes because it's scratched up. Uh, uh, what a pain in the ass. Trying to learn the game and uh, fucking dying and uh, fucking freezing on the last fucking level. That really pisses me off. Oh yeah, the prices on the genres. It seems like RPGs and spaceship shooters are the big genres that go for big money. I just want to rebuy the uh, disc. Uh, looked on eBay. It seems like the cheapest is $20. I was hoping to get for like $10, uh, 5 $10. Uh, disc only. Jesus. Yep, those prices are skyrocketing, so I, I know I've been... Uh, Fucking uh, increase the uh, output of buying the games that I want to get before they get too fucking crazy. Next up, Snatcher. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Snatcher, game only. July 22, 2008. Got it for 89.99 plus 3.99 shipping and handling. Total of 93 dollars and 98 cents. Now the game is authentic. Right here. Game is authentic. The only thing that's not authentic is the uh, uh, the back insert. I printed that out myself. I, I'm not into that reproduction bullshit. Uh, I, I like the original thing, but uh, I printed this up so you know uh, what game's in there. But I'm, 
looking uh, to get the real insert like a Punisher, the real insert and the real deal manual. So if at all possible I'd like to buy for less than what I got the game for at uh, $93.98 if possible. If anyone's got uh, those for sale, if you broke your CD and want to sell them, I'd be interested sometime in the future. Uh, yeah. Next up, Sega CD. Uh, my cousin, uh, I played that first at my cousin's house back in the mid 90s. Uh, along with uh, Cliffhanger, uh, Spider Man, The Terminator, uh, Corpse Killer. Those are some of the games uh, he, <coughs> he had, uh, I played back then. Not many uh, FMV games that everyone complains about the Sega CD only has. No, I played his games. He had a good selection of good games, so it's a good system once you play the good uh, games. Uh, so. Sonic CD. Uh, I think this one. The uh, I don't know if this uh, came with the bundle uh, uh, with the system that I bought back in 2004. I really wish eBay would uh, save this stuff like Amazon does, save the records, so you know how much you bought it for, what the picture looks like, and everything. <coughs> Description. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, this one scratched up too, where something fucked up. It, it stops after first level it freezes up or, or it doesn't go past the first level so I gotta buy the disc again and then this one the disc too is up there in price too I'm trying to get the cheapest way and it's up there disc only hoping you can only get for five or ten bucks disc only spider-man vs the kingpin uh, one of the best spider-man games ever made I really like this one swing time very good uh, theme song to the game terminator another really good one a uh, different game from the, uh, it's not just an enhanced uh, port of the Genesis, it's a completely different game. Good music, uh, what was it by, what was it, what's this, Tommy Tallarico. Uh, good gameplay. Uh, I might have to do a walkthrough of this game sometime in the future, but uh, yeah. Corpse Killer, uh, good uh, light gun shooter. People are hung up on the uh, fucking acting. Does anybody know what camp is? It's supposed to be uh, funny. It's supposed to be like a Batman uh, from uh, the 1960s with Adam West. It's not. They think they're trying to be serious and fucking up, but they're not fucking up. They're trying to be funny, with the uh, poor quality and uh, other shit like that. And it's supposed to be funny. Along with Shoot Sewer Shark, <clears throat> this is the latest game I bought. Uh, cardboard. Uh, gotta open this up. <coughs> also uh, with the the package of uh, buying the system, uh, it came uh, with the. Uh, uh, packing the Sewer Shark manual and Sewer Shark game. So I wanted to get the uh, box only, but uh, they're selling the box with the game. I'll show you the difference. You got the uh, retail version of the game and the uh, packing game. The packing game I had uh, for years back in 2004. Uh, yeah. Yeah, again, I'm not a variant collector. Uh, I don't do that. Uh, but uh, a lot of times, if you want the box, it has to come with the game and uh, all that shit. Right, speaking of the boxes, the reason why I'm uh, getting the boxes, I forgot to mention, is uh, originally I just had these uh, two shelves here on the top. Uh, if you watched uh, my video, Hurricane Sandy is a Bitch, where the house got flooded, you'll see I only had uh, two uh, shelves back then. Uh, but the reason why I started to uh, get more shelves and uh, display them better, because uh, before I had uh, some of these uh, games uh, stacked vertically like the Happy Console Gamer, but uh, that's because I didn't care at the time, because I've been through so many fucking moves, I just fucking didn't care anymore about uh, displaying them. But after uh, my stepdad's uh, grandson came over uh, from California, uh, we, he wanted to play some games, and uh, the, ga the games were so disorganized all over the place. Uh, Genesis was, uh, Jesus, Genesis stuff was stacked vertically over there going up. I uh, had the uh, PlayStation uh, Xbox stuff down down all the way over there where you can't see it. So it was a pain in the ass to find a game that was two players. Uh, so after that, uh, I started to get things more organized so it's easier to see what games uh, you have, uh, what two player games, uh, so you can pick something faster. Uh, I started to get. Uh, boxes for the games that didn't have boxes uh, uh, and CDs that didn't have cases. Uh, I used to put them in here. Uh, and uh, the main game we played at, at that time was uh, Knuckles Chaotix. That was the big game I remember. And the other game we wanted to play was uh, Final Fantasy. Yeah. 
Uh, I'll get to... <coughs> I'll get to Knuckles Chaos in a second. Alright, uh, one of, uh, Mark from, a uh, Classic Game Room, one of his favorite games, Cosmic Carnage. I bought this one, uh, off Amazon because it was so cheap in the box. Uh, it's okay. It's, uh, not the best, uh, fighting game. It's, uh, no Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, or, uh, Fatal Fury. Alright, uh, let's, uh, fun. Uh, next up is Doom. Uh, this is... This isn't uh, the free uh, game I got uh, from uh, Funko Land back in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, that one uh, disappeared. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see the, uh, my stepbrother at the time uh, was living with us before the move, and after the move, uh, he also had a 32x. So there's two people that have a th me and him. I knew had a 32x, and I guess I, it went with him. Uh, I got mistaken uh, that it was his. So I had to rebuy this off Amazon, but good thing the prices uh, were low, like only $10 or whatever it was. Uh, this I got, I believe, in 2009, uh, Knuckles Chaotix. As I said, I played this with my stepdad's grandson. It's pretty good as a two-player game. It's, it seems to be a two-player game. Uh, most people don't understand the uh, rubber band mechanic uh, with the ring. Uh, I really like it, uh, especially on two players. That seems uh, the way it's supposed to be made. It was made to be played. Uh, next up, Calibri. Uh, oh, there's another one. Originally, I bought this off Amazon. They said it's complete in box. I emailed the person who sold it because uh, sometimes they forget the manuals. They forgot the manual. They said they couldn't find it. They refunded me $10. Uh, I said, all right. Uh, let's see how long it took uh, to buy the manual. Let's see. I got it written down somewhere. Uh, let's see. Ah, here we go. Here it is. It took one year, five months, and 13 days to find a manual alone for sale. So yeah, you should always uh, buy them, if you want them complete, you should buy them complete uh, from the get-go. Because uh, either you have to buy the game again with the manual, or see how long it, I, almost every day I was looking for that manual. And uh, that's how long it took to find one alone on for sale on eBay. There you go. Alright, let's put this shit back together. Now the 30, while well, I'm putting this way, now the 32X uh, boxes, uh, unlike the Nintendo stuff, uh, were made, it looks like they're made not to be thrown away. You see they got these little compartments uh, for the uh, manuals and shit, uh, so that's why these ones are more common than the Nintendo stuff, which most people threw away. See, it's got this little compartment for the manual, easy slip, uh, slip-in game. Slips right in and slips right in a lot faster. Like that, real fast. Alright, now Metalhead, the game itself is, uh, the game itself is, uh, the original one I got from Funko Land, but I had to rebuy the box. Luckily, that I can bought that alone. Uh, Star Wars, uh, like I said, this isn't the original Funko Land. I had to rebuy this again some years ago, I believe 2016. Uh, Virtual Fighter. Virtua, not Virtual Wall. No, there's no L. Uh, played this in the arcade at Chuck E. Cheese back in the mid '90s. Didn't care much for it. Uh, after years later, I learned that it was Shenmue, one of my favorite games of all time, uh, was originally gonna be Virtua Fighter RPG. Uh, <coughs> I gave this one a second chance, and that's uh, it's an okay fighter. It's uh, slower than uh, Street Fighter, and Mortal Kombat, and uh, yeah, those two. Uh, it's more of like you get a. It's more about countering. You can block their moves and counter it instead of uh, doing the jumping and doing your combos like in the Street Fighter fighting games. It's a bit slower paced, uh, more methodical. You gotta plan your attacks instead of uh, just button mashing. Uh, my only uh, Sega CD 32X game, uh, Night Trap. <coughs> Pretty good. 